And as you can see, it fits well inside when you use just the one cup, the modifications I've showed you. It's just an absolutely perfect height stacked on top of the cup. And then you still have room in the top one for food storage if you wish. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you a survival kit that fits inside the Stanley two cup cook set. Stay tuned. As many of you know, I've done quite a few videos on the Stanley two cup cook set, sometimes known as the Stanley adventure set. And it's a great set, it's extremely versatile. I've done a lot of hacks and modifications to this. And a lot of you have seen those and I appreciate all the views and all your kind comments. But some time ago, one of my viewers asked me if I could put together a survival kit that would fit inside of the pot and uh, just make it much more versatile, make kind of a complete uh, little survival kit out of it because not only then do you have the ability to boil and carry water, but uh, then you would have your other items as well. And so with that in mind, I've put together a kit for you. Now the kit fits inside of this tin. This tin is three and a quarter inches wide by an inch and a half deep. And I had this tin, I, I bought some tinder in it uh, for fire starting, and it just happened to be the exact size and diameter. Um, I did find some similar on Amazon, and I'll try to remember to put a link to it down below. Uh, but basically, look for tins that are like this, and you'll find one uh, that'll fit inside uh, just perfectly. So without any further ado, let's get into the contents of this kit. So it does have a screw on lid, and that's nice because it just helps hold everything together. Set that aside. And this is what it looks like. First open it up. All right, getting into the top of this, first thing that we have is we have about 50 feet of 80 pound test fishing line and about 10 sinkers of different sizes. Of course, this is for fishing. Also on the top, I have an oven bag that's been cut down a little bit. This is for water procurement. And of course, it's a high heat bag, and uh, I've used this in other kits, but uh, this is a great way to carry a larger amount of water than, of course, what you could carry in a tin this size. Also have several of these Tinder Quick uh, fire tabs. These are waterproof, and they'll take a spark from a ferro rod really, really well. They're easy to pack and stuff in the corners, or a kit like this that doesn't have corners in all the round spaces. Of course, right on top you see mini Bic lighter, bright color so it's easy to find. Also, I have inside of this little container, and this is a container for X-Acto blades. And I find that this works just wonderfully for fishing hooks and also a couple of swivels. And then also a couple of the X-Acto blades in here as extra cutting tools. I also have this very excellent flashlight. And what's nice about it is it has just one AAA battery. It has a double O-ring seal. And when you turn it on, the first is just light on like this. And then the second time you turn it on, it flashes in Morse code and SOS signal. So this is waterproof. You can take this with you and uh, it'll do you a really good job uh, keeping you safe even if you would happen to fall into the water somewhere. All right, the next item is one of these small compressed towels. And of course this is for cleaning, uh, in place of a handkerchief. Uh, it is reusable several times. You dry it out and take care of it. I have three needles of different sizes uh, just wrapped up in some duct tape. And of course, for sewing thread, I have this 80 pound test. And I have used this to repair gear before. I had a raincoat that I sewed up with that and worked quite well. I also have eight matches. And these are the wind and waterproof uh, matches with the striker taped inside some plastic to help keep them dry. For a knife, I have this made by Gerber. And this is just an excellent thing to have. It takes your standard utility knife blades and just has a Phillips screw here. I have my multi-tool, so I can always open and close that. It's a side lock, so it does lock. And then underneath this, in some black electrical tape, I have, just under the clip, I have an extra blade. And so you can switch ends, of course, so I have four sharp sections 
that I can use. So very handy, it's very flat, and it packs well into this kit. I also have a bit of snare wire, of course for snaring, but also for shelter building and for hanging things, suspending things over a fire so that won't burn through. I have some Katadyne water tablets. This, of course, goes with my water bag so that I can purify water without having to boil it. I also have a folded up mini loaf pan. And you fold these up and then you roll it flat with a dough roller, like you would for your biscuits, but just flatten it out. Then when you fold this out, it makes a small loaf pan. Again, for cooking and also for boiling water if need be. Next, just a small button compass. And I cut off the tabs on the back so that it would lay flatter. So that's a good thing to have for direction. I also have a couple of key rings, size so one fits inside the other so that it'd be flat, and that's for this survival saw. I have three small sheets of paper that are cut to fit inside and a piece of a pencil for leaving notes for a rescuer. I have two large safety pins, and of course is for gear repair. Then taped up inside this black electrical tape, is a survival saw. Open this up a little bit for you, and I know there's a lot of controversy about these survival saws. Uh, they can be very cheap, and they can tear up pretty easily. But let me tell you that it's better than nothing, and if you use this carefully, put these rings on either end, uh, it will cut some firewood, probably not enough to build you a cabin, but hopefully enough to get you through the night, like I said, as long as you're careful. Next, just a couple of waterproof uh, Band-Aids. These are the tough strips made by Band-Aid. And then also two of the wound closure strips. Also, I have a very small ferro rod and striker, which is a bit of a hacksaw blade and a little magnesium on this side. Of course, I already have the lighter and the matches. Then in the very bottom, I have a signal mirror and this signal mirror, it has this blue on the side. This is a plastic cover. And what this is made for is a replacement mirror for your car on the side mirrors. If you'd happen to break them, you can buy this in sheets and then you cut out whatever side you need for your survival kit. And that's it. That's what we've got in our survival kit. I'm gonna lay this out and I'll give you a picture of everything all organized. So here it is all laid out. Of course, the container. And then we have our fire. So we have three ways to start a fire including a wood saw. And then we have our water procurement with our tablets, our boiling container here, and our water bag. So fire and water. Now for shelter, we don't have a lot of shelter components, but we do have a saw and we have some wire and some line, of course, and a knife. We could cut some small things. So we have fire, water, shelter. For getting food, we have the fishing gear and also the snare wire. For signaling, we have the light with the strobe, and if you're interested about where that came from, I have a new one here. It's a uh, key gear, and uh, I really like these. This one happens to be orange. This is blue. This is my old one, but I have a new one here, and uh, this is what they look like and where you can get one. So we have signaling. Also signaling with the uh, pencil and the paper. We can leave a message for our rescuers. Navigation, uh, we have the compass. And of course, uh, we can also use the mirror for signaling. That's also part of the signal uh, product that's in here. So we also then have some first aid or self-aid with the towel and our band-aids and wound closure strips. And also we can use a strip of a shirt along with the safety pins to make a type of a bandage. And then also our sewing and gear repair. And you could technically suture yourself up if you had to, although a curved needle would be better. So this is the layout of the survival kit. And here it is all packed back in. And we just wanna make sure everything lays nice and flat, compressed down in there. And then we put the lid back on, screw it tight. And there we go. Doesn't rattle much and it's nice and self-contained. When we go to put it back in, it just simply fits down in the bottom like this. And then our cup goes right on top, just perfectly. 
And there you have it. There's your survival kit for your Stanley Two Cup cook set. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And while you're down there, you'll find our Patreon link, which is where you can donate to support the channel financially. And a great big thank you to everybody that's been doing so. Also, if you want to support us in other ways, you'll find our Spring Link, which is where you can buy Great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. The proceeds, of course, go to help support the channel and the ongoing research that we do to bring you great video content. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.